Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph again. Thank you for joining me today on another episode of I Care. Wanting you to know that the Lord our God is a faithful God, a gracious God. He's a good God and he is kind. There is no God like the living God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is our God too. And he has blessed us throughout the generations and he will continue to bless his people as we honor and serve him. The Lord our God is faithful. Again, he loves us all. And I want to emphasize that again, that the love of God, hallelujah, is with all of us. And he never, ever leaves us as he has promised in his word that he would never do. So we thank God for the joy and the privilege again of having you join with us this day, knowing again that God has nothing but blessing and goodness for each and every one of us. So let's again uh, begin to share the word of God with you, uh, the thoughts of God uh, according to his word. And so uh, we're going to begin again talking to you about, again, building yourself up, becoming bigger and greater and stronger in the Lord, and we begin to be stronger in this world because of who you are and who you belong unto. You belong to the living God, and he has nothing but love for each and every one of us. And just as we have proven over and over again, the Lord our God, he cares for each and every one of us. Amen and glory to God. So we begin again, I want to talk to you about, let's pass some scriptures along to you as we talk about the goodness and the care of the Lord for us, and not only that, but how we build ourselves up in the Lord. Amen? One of the things that the Word of God says, Apostle Paul said, that he said, I commend you to the Word of God. Let me tell you it again, say it again. He said, I commend you to the Word of God. And why did he say that? He says, because the word of God is able to build you up. I'll say that again. Apostle Paul said, I commend you to the word of God. Hallelujah. Because the word is able to build you up. If you want to be better, you want to be greater, you want to be stronger, you want to be who God said you are, take his word, meditate his word, use his word daily because it will bring spiritual strength to you that will even express itself through physical strength as well. You know, God got some things for us and God does things for us that's amazing. God does things for us and things in us. He's put love in us. He's put strength in us. He's put joy in us. All these things are in us and God wants to motivate you to bring it out of you because it causes your life to be a greater and better life. So I want to pass some more scriptures on to you this morning and, and just want you to understand this because when you come to the place where you know God, you know God loves you, you know that you're with God, and you know that you love God himself, and then you love yourself, then these are some, again, the things that will be produced in your life. Amen? You'll feel strong. You'll feel, uh, uh, you'll feel disciplined. You'll be diligent. You'll be able to, again, to say, because of who I am, and because of what I have discovered about my God through his word, I'm able to stand strong through any situation, through any circumstance, because the primary thing, saints, again, is getting the word of God in you. I tell you, you can't find any other way that will build you up faster than the word of God. And I want to emphasize to you again, do not compare yourself to others. Amen. Keep your mind on who God says you are, Keep your mind on the assignments that he has for your life because you'll find great joy and great peace. Do you know that when you find the place that you are to be, that's when you'll find your prosperity. When you find out what it is that God has assigned to you in life and you begin to do that thing, that thing brings prosperity unto you. God has not given anyone else an assignment like he's given you. So when you find your place, you find that thing that God has for you, it'll cause you to prosper. It will cause you to be blessed. Hallelujah. Now, the scripture teaches us even that we are to love everyone. My God. We are to do what? We are to love everyone. Whether they are rich, poor, no matter what their race, no matter what their look is like or anything, we are to love everyone. It, listen, it doesn't even matter if they don't believe in Christ. We still have to love them because that's what the word of God tells us. We are to love everybody. Amen? And so, you know, many people push different ideas on you. You still have to love them. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You know, what I do is I pray for those that don't know the Lord to try to give me some other kind of religion, uh, some other kind of teaching. I just pray for them. Why do I do that? Because I want to see them delivered from out of the snare of what they've been caught up in. Hallelujah. And many have been caught up so bad, so bad, and what others are saying 
that they can't even see God for themselves. Change your mind. Look to God. Because the word of God, again, it tells us again that um, <clears throat> you are not to be afraid. Don't be afraid of anybody. Don't be afraid of any man. So I want, I want to look at that passage of scriptures today, if you don't mind. Um, I'm, not, I'm not afraid or controlled by what others think. Look at Proverbs 29. Proverbs 29. Now I want you to look with me at the 25th verse there. Proverbs 29 and verse 25. Amen. And it says, the fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Now, I want to read that to you again and amplify it. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever leans on trust in and puts his confidence in the Lord is safe and set on high. <laughs> we don't have any fear anyone. Amen. And the word of God also in the Psalms it tells us, you know, in the Proverbs it tells us again, that we are to fear no man. Don't be afraid of man. Why? Because of the fact that God is with us. Hallelujah. God has the power, not men. Hallelujah to his holy and righteous name. So I just want to encourage you today to put your confident trust in the living God.